CNS examination let's see which are the higher mental functions so higher mental functions includes consciousness orientation memory attention speech mathematical calculation constructive ability and abstract thinking now let's see each one of these in detail the first one is consciousness levels of consciousness grade 1 is fully conscious Grade 2 is lethargy, wherein you need to wake up the patient. Grade 3 is optundation, wherein even after waking up, the patient does not reply. Grade 4 is stupor, wherein you have to apply slight amount of pressure by using your knuckles or pinch the patient. Grade 5 is comatous wherein the patient does not respond even to a painful stimuli. Important viva question over here is what is the difference between grade 4 and grade 5 of consciousness. So in grade 4 of consciousness which is stupor, remember that the sleep-wake cycle is present. Whereas in grade 5 level of consciousness which is comatous, the sleep-wake cycle is absent. If the patient falls among any of the grades from grade 2 to grade 5, then you need to make use of the GCS scale, which is the Glasgow Coma Scale. The Glasgow Coma Scale is for eye opening, verbal and for motor response. Under eye opening response, Spontaneous opens with blinking at baseline is 4 points. To verbal stimuli, command speech 3 points. To pain only, not applied to face is 2 points. No response is 1 point. For verbal response, oriented 5 points. Confused conversation but able to answer questions 4 points. Inappropriate words 3 points. Incomprehensible speech 2 points. No response, 1 point. Under motor response, obeys commands for movement, 6 points. Purposeful movement to painful stimulus, 5 points. Withdraws in response to pain, 4 points. Flexion in response to pain, which is decorticate posturing, 3 points. Extension response in response to pain, that is decerebrate posturing, 2 points. No response, 1 point. In the Glasgow Coma Scale, you can get a minimum score of 3 and a maximum score of 15. The head injury classification is done based on severe head injury if the GCS score is 8 or less, moderate head injury if the GCS score is from 9 to 12, mild head injury if the GCS score is of 13 to 15. The second one under higher mental function is orientation which you can check with respect to time, place and person. With respect to time, you can ask the patient whether it is morning, afternoon or evening. With respect to place, you can ask the patient where are you right now? That is which hospital are you in? Which floor? and which ward are you admitted in. With respect to person, you can ask the patient if he or she can recognize or if they know their relatives. The third one is memory. Under memory, we have the immediate memory, the short term memory and the long term memory. For immediate memory, you need to tell the patient series of words. For example, fan, table, book and immediately ask the patient to repeat all these three words. For short term memory, ask the patient what did you have for breakfast and confirm the same with the relative. For long term memory, ask the patient what is their date of birth. And you need to mention whether their memory is intact or not. The fourth one is attention. Under this we have the following. The first one is selective attention 
that is say 7 forward and 5 backward numbers. For example, ask the patient to count 7 forward numbers from 10 and 5 backward numbers from 10. Then we have sustained attention wherein you need to ask the patient what were the three things that I told you in the beginning. Here the patient needs to recall the three words which were told to them in the beginning which were fan, table and book. After this we have alternating attention which includes addition and subtraction. For example, ask the patient what is 8 plus 2 and what is 8 minus 2. Then we have divided attention. Give two sets of tasks to perform simultaneously. For example, make the patient walk and also ask the patient questions simultaneously. The next one under higher mental function is speech. So under speech, it is categorized into three different types. The first one is Wernick's aphasia, Broca's aphasia and we have the global aphasia. So Wernick's aphasia is wherein you tell the patient something, they do not understand and they will give you wrong answers or use wrong words. Wernick's aphasia is wherein the patient is going to have some neurological damage. Therefore, it is sensory. Whereas in Broca's aphasia, you tell the patient something, they understand, but they have a stuttering speech. Therefore, Broca's aphasia is going to be associated with the motor part. Global aphasia is a combination of both, that is Wernick's aphasia and Broca's aphasia. The sixth one is mathematical calculation. Ask the patient how much is one dozen. The seventh one is constructive ability or abstract thinking. In constructive ability, ask the patient to draw different shapes for abstract thinking. Example of abstract thinking is explain the meaning of Rome was not built in one day. Remember that the mini mental state examination also called as the MMSE scale is used to assess cognition and higher mental functions. It is specially used in patients with dementia. The total score is out of 30. The interpretation is score of more than 25 is considered to be normal and score of less than 25 is said to have cognitive impairment. So let's see the following questions. For a score of 5, the question is what is the year, the season, the date, day of the week and the month. For score of 5, ask the patient where are you now, that is which state, which country, which town or city, which hospital and on which floor. For a score of 3, the examiner names 3 unrelated objects clearly and slowly then asks the patient to name all three of them. The patient's response is used for scoring. The examiner repeats them until patient learns all of them if possible. You can name three objects, for example, fan, table and book. For a score of five, tell the patient, I would like you to count backwards from 100 by sevens. For example, 93, 86, 79, 72, 65 and stop after 5 answers or else you can ask the patient to spell world backwards. For a score of 3, ask the patient, earlier I told you the names of 3 things. Can you tell me what those were? For example, in this case, it was fan, table and book. For a score of 2 points, show the patient two simple objects such as a wristwatch and a pencil and ask the patient to name them. For one point, repeat the phrase no ifs, ands or buts. For three points, take the paper in your right hand, fold it in half 
and put it on the floor. Here the examiner gives the patient a piece of blank paper. For one point, tell the patient to please read this and do what it says. The written instruction is close your eyes. For one point, make up and write a sentence about anything. This sentence must contain a noun and a verb. And lastly, again for one point, tell the patient to please copy this picture. The examiner gives the patient a blank piece of paper and asks him or her to draw the symbol below. All the 10 angles must be present and 2 must intersect.